it's time once again to have a look at another box from the folks over at BAM Box. Now, we will not be looking at the original BAM Box, we'll be looking at the horror BAM Box coming to us from the folks over at BAM. You can head over to www.thebambox.com. That will allow you to subscribe not only to the regular BAM Box, but also Horror BAM Box as well. Can't wait to get this opened up because inside I'm certain to find a bunch of collectibles and more importantly, autographs, which being a horror fan myself, I always get more excited, I think, for the autographs. Not that I don't like the autographs from the original BAM Box, but because I am such a bigger fan of horror movies, I love to see the kind of autographs that we're going to get with the horror band box. So without further ado, I'm just going to grab Hank here. Let's go ahead and cut the box like so. And let's get this opened up, get right into it. We have some tissue paper, a, a familiar sight to see with the band box. We don't need that. So I'm just going to discard that. And by discard that, just dump it on the floor. Uh, we got this. This is interesting. Valley Drugs, 5897 Nancy Thomas. Thompson, uh, one or two for sleep anxiety, Hypnosil, 60 milligrams. Gives you the expiry date, uh, 0589. It says 4786. Uh, I guess this is a replica of the sleep pills, the Hypnosil, or I should say uh, Hypnosil that she takes in A Nightmare on Elm Street. That looks pretty cool, I have to admit. Now I would have to go back and watch the movie. Yeah, like I need an excuse to go back and watch A Nightmare on Elm Street just to see how accurate this is to the, the, original, uh, the original release or the original in-film prop. Put that right over there. Also got ourselves a pin, which is what... This is the Bam Horror Limited Edition Enamel Pin, only 250 made. Uh, this one happens to be Salem's Lot, designed by Create or Destroy. This pin has a limited release of 250 pins numbered on the back. That's pretty cool. I can add that to my pin collection. Feels something heavy inside. Not sure really what this is just yet. We'll pull this out. Hmm. 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 Hmm? I'm not really sure. I can't remember what this is from. I'm assuming it'd have to be a one-to-one -one scale. I can't imagine this be a scaled-down representation. It's made out of stone. But I draw an absolute blank as to what it's actually from. I can only hope that there's an insert inside that's going to tell me. And if there is, I'm sure for the 12 people that have commented down below, dude, don't you know it's this? You will be squashed. Because I will by then already know at the time that I'm posting this video. Ha ha ha! We also got ourselves a one-up. Congratulations! You got a one-up card. You have been an up. You have an upgraded or limited edition item inside your box. Got some autographs. Usually one is a print. One is an actor or actress's signature. First things first is the print, and this looks like this is. Uh, well, it looks like it's Insidious. Is that right? Insidious, possibly Insidious Four judging by the uh, the keys on the fingers there. Now, I have not yet seen Insidious 4. I know. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing it. I've seen the first three and have thoroughly enjoyed them. have not yet had a chance to watch Insidious 4. And I always seem to get Insidious and The Conjuring films kind of confused. And I think at one point they had said online, and I hope this is to be a true story, that they are planning on uh, doing an Insidious and Conjuring kind of pair up, uh, merging the bring the two characters or the characters from both the respected movies together. I definitely would be looking forward to seeing that. And then we've got ourselves an autograph inside. Uh, bleh. Let's check at the back here. This 8x10 photo has been hand signed by... Jen Soska and Sylvia Soska, who directed American Mary. It was signed during a private signing with the BAM box. Now, honestly, I don't know who these characters are. I'm guessing the movie is called American, American Mary. I've never actually heard of it, to be honest, but I'm sure right after this video, I'll look it up on YouTube, see if I can find a trailer for it. There's an autograph featuring both of the respected actresses signing this. I feel bad, actually, when I don't know what the reference point is for some of these autographs or these collectibles. 
It's one of those things where if you don't immediately have it presented in front of you, if you already don't know what it is and you just open it up, you may draw an absolute blank. So let's hope that the insert will give us some indication. For starters, the outside, we've got BAM Horror for January 2018. Thank you for ordering the BAM Horror Box January 2018 edition. This month, we have a dual autograph photo with some boxes getting a dual autograph item. Also, on the lookout for the one-up card, you see you got an item with more re limited release. Uh, if you aren't part of the BAM community, we want you there. Trade items, enter contests, stay up to date on information, and meet other BAMers. Head over to www.thebambox.com forward slash community. Now, let's find out what exactly this is. Well, for the BAM box signing with the Soska Sisters, or Soska Sisters, most of you get one of the two signed photos, but look out for the signed director's uh, clapboard. Does that actually say clapboard? Look out for the signed director's clapboard. Okay. We also have the Bambox exclusive Insidious fan art collection exclusive prints by artist Steve Jenks. A Nancy replica Hypnosil prop pill bottle from A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3. There we go. Now, what was the amulet? The amulet of Pazuzu is the head replica from Dark Matter Props. Pazuzu is the main antagonist and demon in The Exorcist. In Assyrian and Babylonian mythology, Pazuzu was the king of the demons on the wind and the son of the god Hanbi. I didn't know that. And actually, in my defense, just before anybody says, hey, you should have known that, it's it's the Exorcist after all. I can't remember the last time I've seen Exorcist. I think the last time I saw Exorcist was in 1998. How many of you guys were born in 1998? And then lastly, there was the BAM Box exclusive Salem's Lot fan art pins by artist Create or Destroy. Uh, three apparent different pins. I got the upgraded limited edition pin, which was limited to 250. And speaking of, not quite limited edition, but speaking of things that you could get of limited quantities, there's a giveaway when this hand signed right there, 8 by, actually it's 11 by 17, reanimator poster signed by Jeffrey Combs, inscribed Herbert West, head over to the com community page to enter the contest. What's that address again? www.thebandbox.com forward slash community. Not a bad collection of items. In all honesty, though, I kind of feel bad that I didn't know some of the items. I'm still going to have to look online for uh, for specifically uh, American Mary, just so I have some idea what these signatures or what these characters are. And I felt especially bad that I didn't know that this was the amulet of Pazuzu. And I'm sure many, many people have said, dude, you should know that. That's, the, that's Pazuzu, the amulet of Pazuzu, which... Again, it feels like it's, well, it's a stone piece, which really does look good. I would have to go back and rewatch the movie again to understand the uh, the actual source material of this artifact, uh, artifact, which again was 1998. So I was in high school. I was dating somebody. 1998, maybe it was 1997 was the last time I watched The Exorcist. So that would put us at about 20 years ago just in case anybody was wondering how good a memory could be. How good can your memory be 20 years later? Some of you may not even be 20 years old. Uh, I think of my favorite items, of the things that I actually do know of until I am going to go and rewatch this Exorcist again, would be surprisingly the Nancy Thompson uh, Hypnosil jar. I think that's kind of cool. And again, I, not that I really need to go back and watch Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 again. Okay, I'll watch Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 again. Even though my favorite is still Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4. If you guys haven't had a chance yet to subscribe to the BAM box, what exactly are you waiting for? Here you're getting a box that's full of collectibles, uh, movie memorabilia and, thing, and movie replica props, and autographs. Even if you don't necessarily know the characters that the autographs are based from. Uh, Bambox is the place for you. You can head over to www.thebambox.com, subscribe, and you can get next month's box delivered right to your door. Speaking of subscribing, if you haven't had a chance yet to hit that little subscribe button down below, make sure you do so. More videos will be coming your way. Thanks for watching. See you next time.